Welcome to Beverly Hills, California. Today we're touring this newly remodeled modern home that's on the market for $14,998,000. We wanted to tour this property because the way it's been remodeled is so exquisite. Material selection is so tasteful. Design elements are so sophisticated that I know you all will enjoy touring this property. I want to give big thanks to the developer and the listing agents, Jason and Matthew, for making this video possible. And more information about the house will be in the description of this video. And now, let's go have a look. All right, we're gonna start our tour on the exterior. I'm really excited for this tour. House is so tastefully done. I'm gonna talk about all the details. And on the exterior, we have the half motor court, two gates open up. Your carport is located on this side, epoxy floors. And before we move on, I gotta talk about this Tesla Mikey. It's wrapped with suede. I have never seen a suede car wrap before. At first I thought it was that like, deep black paint. You've seen that paint that's like the blackest paint you can get for cars? I thought it was like flat black like yeah. wrap. It like absorbs all the light though. It's a really interesting look. It feels like my uh, loafer shoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's insane. Mike was asking how do you get this washed? I was like do you get it dry cleaned? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it looks very cool so I wanted to mention that. You have an opening here that takes you directly to a hallway which then leads you to the kitchen so you kind of have an easy access to your house from that angle or you come to this side where we have the main entry. I like these steel screens that they have on the right hand side. Add up to the modernness of the home. Entry is covered. We got this beautiful glass pivot door which leads you to the inside. And first surface you step on are these beautiful marble floors. Look at the veins and details and characters here, Mikey. This is insane. Yeah, and we're gonna see this throughout the house. I really like the stone. I feel like we've been seeing a lot of colorful marble and uh is this marble or granite this is marble this is marble i feel like we've been seeing a lot of colorful marble lately this one is gorgeous and they use it throughout the house in various different patterns and ways of installation i'm gonna say they have it by the steel case doors there okay i'm getting excited let's continue but regardless we're gonna see this marble a lot so this entry is very elegant then we transition to french oak hardwood floors and before we go to the great room and to the kitchen. I wanna actually take everybody this way. We have the first bedroom located on this wing, queen size bed. I like the headboard design. This bedroom is front facing, same hardwood floors. We have Ramadisio cabinetry here, Ramadisio doors, interior doors throughout the property as well. And coming here, we have the first bathroom or the bathroom for this room, skylight above. I like these terrazzo looking porcelain tiles, which give this bathroom a very timeless and mid-century modern look. Open shower design, brush nickel fixtures, Antonio Lupi vanity here. It's beautifully done. And Mike, can we get a close up? I gotta show this detail. These doors are glass, okay? So this is burgundy and they have rose gold frame and trim around it. Really How nice. How bespoke is that? I kind of have a dumb question to ask you. Is porcelain- There are no dumb questions. Porcelain's man-made, right? It's not yes. natural? Okay. It's man-made. All right. But because it's man-made and the way they process and make these tiles, they can be very, very durable. And they so, can be very specific to exactly what you want. Too. Bingo. Yeah. And they're lightweight, easy to install, easy to manufacture, so on and so forth. That's it for the first bedroom. Now let's go back to the hallway again. Can we show this accent piece down below? This tour is gonna to be all about me showing interesting and quirky details. Who puts a beautiful marble slab there, then puts a floor uh, recessed in lighting, really nice wood paneling here, and creates a nice contrast in a moment here on a small hallway between the bedroom and a powder room. I would assume whoever does that also puts suede on their Teslas. You know, they're very, very specific attention to detail. There you go, and they also put velvet on their powder bathroom walls. Very nice. This is beautiful. It's like, I just want to keep touching the walls. It's so nice. It's getting weird. Let's move on. Yeah, then there's this marble vanity here with a floor mount faucet. 
Toilet is on this side. Very chic design. I gotta say, I'm, I'm really impressed and I'm really excited to show everyone rest of the textures and colors in this house. All right, back to the entry, straight to the great room. Before we continue our tour, I wanna to give big thanks to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. I know we're touring that amazing home in Beverly Hills, but we're currently in Miami to bring you guys the best tours possible. I've been seeing AG1 on social media for a while. I've been seeing it on YouTube, Instagram. Two of my favorite creators, Sailing La Vagabond and Karen Nate, have been talking so highly about this product that I decided to personally order it myself. I've been using it for the last few months and I love it. It has become an essential part of my daily routine and because I travel so much, it's really hard for me to monitor my nutrition. That's why having a product like this, having it on the go is really crucial. What's amazing about AG1 is that it's an all-in-one nutritional supplement with 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food source nutrients that has become part of my nutritional foundation as we travel around the world. It's extremely easy to make. It only takes a minute out of my day. It tastes phenomenal. And to say that I've been feeling great ever since I've been using the product is an understatement. It gives me all the energy I need to shoot long days and the nutrients that my body craves when I'm on the road and I can't eat healthy. But wait, it gets better. AG1 is offering a one year supply of D3, K2, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. You guys have to give this stuff a try. It's that good. I genuinely believe in what Athletic Greens does. If you want to try it out yourself, click the link in the description. And big thanks to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. And now let's go back to Beverly Hills. This is where we have the main seating area. Very minimalist approach. Two couches, few chairs. Look at the coffee table here with this marble and glass piece integrated together. In front of that, you have your marble fireplace. And I wanna take a moment to talk about this fireplace design. You have the leaded piece on the bottom. Then you have this red steel frame that serves as your mantle. And then if you look inside of the fireplace, you have the scored marble wall. And in front of that, you have an ethanol fireplace and how incredible this assembly looks and contrasts so nicely against these white walls. This is beautiful. Yeah, I feel like everything in this house just gives a very like peaceful, relaxing, just... Easy on the eye. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everything is just, is just nice and calm, you know? I feel like this house is kind of your style. Minimalist, not so much furniture. Yeah. I can see you. I mean, I love it too. That's why we brought everybody here to yeah. see it. Okay, another detail I wanna talk about. Well, there are a lot of details here. If you look at the ceilings and the baseboards, we have these black reveals, which give so much dimension to the room. I feel like a lot of the modern homes we tour, they're just straight walls and ceilings, and there's not enough depth. But as soon as you put the reveal detail all around, it just gives volume to the space, it almost gives you an angle to look at. Then you have the curtains on this side because we have three steel cased French doors opening up towards your backyard because we have a Juliet balcony here. Let's see. There you go. And look at the floor transition here. Beautiful. You have this gorgeous marble piece, hardwood floors, and how it looks so seamless and integrated. Then you have the Juliet balcony here facing the backyard. This house is gorgeous. Same marble, right? Same marble, correct. Yeah. I guess same porcelain on the outside as well. Exactly, the terrazzo looking tiles, absolutely. Yeah. Overall, this is a beautiful space. Gets ton of natural light. You have some indoor plants here. Again, fireplace, seating area, warm wood paneling. Really nice living room. All right, let's continue. We have this opening taking us to the kitchen. I really like these steel and glass wall panels that give a little separation to the kitchen from the seating area. Design of this kitchen is so exquisite. Look how beautiful it looks. Forget about the cabinetry functionality, just that backsplash, it's all book matched, veins, details. Then you have that floating shelf with backlighting. Shelf is also rose gold, meaning it matches the trim throughout the property and it's so minimalist. You have two seating sections here, open shelving in the center with inside lighting, pendant light above. And before we go around this kitchen, I actually wanna take everybody this way. You have an appliance cabinet here with an espresso machine, microwave, some open shelving. And if you want the minimalist look, you can simply 
pull these doors layer on top. There you go, right? I like that. Pretty nice. All right, let's continue our tour. We have more cabinetry here that's integrated into the walls. Another sink. We talked about this access point earlier that comes straight from your carport. Additional cabinetry here. And we have this door opening up to another bedroom that is facing the side of the home. Queen size bed comes with a full bathroom, pretty much the same finishes. Now let's go back to the kitchen so we can continue our tour here. Two ovens, steel case window bringing natural light. We have the island on this side, dual elevation. Bar seating has the same wood tones as the cabinetry. And then you have this beautiful marble countertop that I'm gonna keep talking about. It's so tasteful. Your knobs are nicely integrated into the cabinetry. You have your griddle, induction cooktop, gas cooktop, built-in vents. It's all gagging now. And on this side, you have rest of your base cabinets. Again, same marble was used for the countertop as well as the backsplash. It's all book match. Then we have these rose gold floating shelves with burgundy glass insets. And I have talked about those rose gold and burgundy details before. We're gonna see them throughout the property. They're backlit as well. Then above that, we have the wood cladding. This is stunning. Textures, details, minimalist lines of this kitchen. It's just beautiful. You have a pen and light with a plant, you know? Uh, who thinks of details like that? But the designer here and the developer here, really, curating these pieces, designing the layout of this home, I think he did a fantastic job. He did. All right, let's continue. We have more of these glass panels to create some separation. We have the dining area here. Beautiful table, seating for six. This elegant chandelier above. Space is very minimalist. All open, you have the seating area here, kitchen. Both of these spaces flow straight to here. And then you have the wood panel wall, another floating shelf. And I gotta say this rose gold frame with burgundy glass, it looks so tasteful and elegant and sophisticated. I'm really digging it. I think this is the first time we're seeing a burgundy finish. Yeah. Heavily used in a home. Well, there's something about the mix of like the wood panels with the rose gold, with the burgundy that gives us very like, I wanna say mid-century, I don't know if that's the correct term for it or word for it, but like it gives it kind of this timeless, elegant look, you know? It's mid-century with hint of contemporary modern elements, I almost wanna say. And the way this house is designed with accessories, furniture, everything is curated for the space, so it, it feels very cohesive, it feels very complete, you know? Yeah. That's it for the dining area. We have accordion glass doors opening up to the balcony on the second floor. Right in the center, we have this contemporary fire pit, outdoor seating, table set up at the end, glass railing throughout. The backyard looks very tranquil and private. The zero edge pool on this side. Landscaping looks beautiful. We have all these mature trees. Amazing location, 902 on a zip code, Beverly Hills. It doesn't get much better. And they use the same terrazzo tiles also here on the second floor balcony. Now, I'm gonna take everybody back inside. On this level, we have three bedroom suites, including the primary bedroom suite, and that's the only room we have left that we haven't toured. Beautiful wood paneling. Oh, I wanna talk about another detail. So Mikey, we need a close up. Look at the plugs. They're recessed in to the drywall. It's such an elegant detail. It's gonna be kind of hard for my camera to see that because it's so seamless, you know? Exactly, meaning we don't have any plugs that are sticking out above the wall. They're nicely recessed and that's so much work with plastering around it, installing it right. And if you have to fix anything within that plug, good luck, now you gotta redo your drywall. Yeah, or just cut a whole chunk out and then exactly. patch it up, right? Exactly, but it looks so elegant and that's why this house is so suiting and relaxing. Walls are so clean, you don't have any unnecessary plugs or cover plates or accessories. It's just very suiting. Now, let's continue. We have this door opening up to the primary bedroom suite. This primary bedroom is stunning. I'm gonna cover all the details. Let's start with built-in cabinetry. Uh, I'm gonna open up this door here to show everyone how incredible these Remedicio cabinets are. Each one of these drawers are lined with leather. Hand Bur stitched. Burgundy as Burgundy. well. Burgundy. Rose gold cabinetry. Lighting inside of the cabinets. Look how exquisite this handle is. I always wonder, like, the people who buy these homes, like, if they're, 
if their wardrobe matches the the tastefulness of the home, you know? I feel like if I did buy this, like, I would immediately have to buy... You have to upgrade your clothes. ...clothes nice enough <laughs> to put in these closets, you know? I hear you. Looks beautiful. Then we have this opening taking us to the bathroom. We're gonna start our tour with the bathroom and the closet, and then we'll go to the bedroom itself. Where do I start? Freestanding tub right in the center. Look how exquisite this brush nickel handrail is. Floor mount tub filler. Above us, we have a skylight. It's currently open because it's a motorized skylight. Push of a button, you can open it or close it and allow natural air and natural light to come into this exquisite space. You have two vanities, all marble fabricated. And I love that there's a gap between the fireplace and the vanities so that it just gives dimension to the room and it creates a nice separation. Ethanol fireplace right in the center. And look at the fabrication of these vanities. Mikey, we need a close up. You have this lower section and then the sink itself. These edges, brush nickel fixtures with these beautiful handles. Floating shelf design here with more mood lighting. Above us, we have another cove opening for more mood lighting. Wood paneling on top, some glass upper cabinets here. I'm gonna keep opening everything. All uh, Aesop. Aesop's always very nice, you know? Exactly, we see it in these high-end homes. I'm out of words, it's so beautiful. It's so nicely done. Let's take everybody to the walk-in shower. It's all marble clad, starting from the sill. You walk in, all your drains are tucked underneath. You have these two floor mount shower heads. And I gotta say, I've never seen this application in an indoor shower. Marble is all book mashed around, more mood lighting, your handheld. This is the most elegant yeah. handheld I've ever seen in my life. It's like a handheld uh, rain head, you know? It just feels amazing to just hold it. Um, I'm gonna put it right back. Then you have steel case fence doors opening up to the side of the property. That way you can leave these doors open, have an open outdoor shower feel. Drains are nicely tucked underneath. You have your towel holders here. Beautiful. Just a beautiful walk-in shower. All right, let's continue our tour. Mikey, I actually need to go that way because that's where we have the walk-in closet. Let's cover that too. Going in, all remedies here. It feels like a high-end boutique. Reflections, rose gold frames, burgundy tones, leather wrapped drawers, everything just looks stunning. Look at the shoe racks here at an angle with under cabinet lighting. Just looks beautiful, this section. Then we have wardrobes with glass fronts, hangers on this side, dressing area here, mirror on this side. I'm out of words, it's so nice. It's not the biggest closet, but the way it's designed, it's very functional. And then you have this elegant light fixture here. Just a beautiful walk-in closet. All right, let's go back to the bathroom, beautiful textures, design elements. And before we leave the bathroom, I wanna talk about a couple more details. Number one, if you wanna close off this section from the hallway, these glass and steel panels slide. So there you go, and you can close the other one on the other side. Then I wanna take everybody towards this section because this is where we have the water closet. But before we talk about the water closet, I wanna talk about this detail right here. So we have the switches for your lights. And uh, if you look at this house from the back, you can see that it consists of three volumes. And if you look at these volumes, you can see steel cased accordion doors or French doors. And then you can see the stucco tapering off and opening up to the exterior. They brought the same design element around these plugs as well. Who does that? Yeah, that's, uh, I, I wouldn't put that together, but it makes sense, I guess, you know? Beautiful. Just be I love stuff like did this. Did you notice this or did the developer I just this? noticed it 30 seconds ago. Okay. The developer has uh, he hasn't uh, shown me this. But I'm pretty confident yeah. that's where he got the inspiration from yeah. and like, kind of replicated it here. So how do you do that? I guess you in so is it drywall? Just a ton of work. You get the drywall, you tape it off, you sand it. Well, it's, just, it's such a clean cut that it, it looks it, like almost like machine. They know? may be using some sort of a template or something yeah. to make it easier. But regardless, my hat's off. I love this detail. Then, Mikey, I need you to come actually this way so we can show everyone the water closet. Normally, I don't walk into these water closets, but you have the half stone, wood paneling, skylight above, 
your water closet can be an experience. You have all the functionality here with your remote control. This is, this is 10 out of 10 for me. Pretty cool, huh? It's nice, it has a skylight also. Absolutely. All right, now let's go into the bedroom, which is on this side, king size bed. I like this wood panel back wall with mood lighting, reveal detail above, ceiling mount light fixture, these elegant marble side tables, and then you have a small seating area here. Steel case, accordion doors, open up the space to the backyard, Juliet balcony, glass railing, peaceful tranquil views, and you have another gorgeous fireplace here leaded marble on the bottom. And I like that they left the reveal detail as well. So it has this nice floating effect. Then on the back, you have these scored and honed marble pieces, marble slabs, just a beautiful fireplace design, stunning bedroom. And this house was built in 1960s, by the way. It was recently remodeled and it just shows with right people in place and right design elements, you can really elevate the property, bring it to today's standards, but at the same time, put a unique touch to it. You know, I feel like when you're remodeling an older home, you have to work with the layout to a degree. And it almost forces your creativity to do the best within the space, rather than building a brand new home, which then at that point you can do whatever you want. Versus here, you have to work with each of the rooms and make the best out of it. With that, we're done on the top floor. Now let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the lower level. All right, everyone, let's check out the lower level. Beautiful marble staircase. This is the landing. And on the back, we have velvet wallpaper. And I keep touching these walls because they, get, they feel so good on your hand and it's hard not to. And you make patterns and then you clean up the patterns and it's fun. Yeah, uh, imagine having a velvet Tesla instead of a, uh, like, what was that, we, suede? Okay, suede. Never, mind, never mind. A developer here likes textures and uh, you have it on the walls, he has it on his car, you know? Yeah. All right, landing. I'm gonna start our tour with the first door on my right hand side, which leads us to a very cozy bar, marble countertops, dark wood paneling with cabinetry, open shelving, rose gold finishes. It's not the fancy sort of biggest part, but it's a nice cozy bar and it even comes with an 18 inch dishwasher. Wanted to mention that. Then we have this bar and this opening leading us to the screening room, cloud couches, super cozy, paneled walls, projector, screen. This is kind of like a movie theater, but at the same time, I feel like this is a great spot to just get away from the rest of the house, lock yourself in here eat some popcorn, watch a movie. It's a nice cozy space. Yeah. Now let's go back to the landing so we can continue our tour. We have this lounge area here with this fireplace anchoring the room right in the center. But before I talk about this space, I want to take everybody this way. Now this hallway leads us to the laundry room and the powder bathroom, which is located right at the end. Then on my right hand side, we have this built in cabinetry, all Remedicio. This is your wine cellar, 264 bottles, temperature controlled, and even your wine cabinetry is so elegant. And I feel like you need to get the appropriate bottles just so you can dress the space nicely. Like you can't just put any bottle here. Yeah. It's so nice. Yeah, I mean, it looks, I, it, it looks exactly like the closet stand. I don't know if that's a common thing for wine cellars, but it's very sleek. It's very sleek and I love that they ran these marble slabs on the sides as well. So inside of the cabinetry, you can see the marble textures and just looks very nice. All right, let's pull back here. This door opens up to another bedroom, queen size bed. French doors open up to the covered patio, which we're gonna see in a bit. TV is mounted on this side, built-in cabinetry. Of course, comes with a full bathroom, same terrazzo tiles open walk-in shower design, Antonio Lupi vanity, beautiful bathroom. Now, let's go back to the lounging area. I really like this couch that's open on both sides. Is that how you say it? Like, you can sit on both sides. It's hard, it's hard to, to put into words what this couch looks like. Uh, if someone asked me to explain this couch to them, I wouldn't be able to, but it is really cool. I believe the developer here spent over $600,000 just on the furniture and the accessories alone. Well, it uh, shows. Absolutely. Then you have this beautiful 
bookshelf design on the back. Right in the center, we have this open fireplace design that anchors the room. Again, lettered piece on the bottom. Then you have the scored and honed piece right in the center. TV is mounted here. And I learned today that because this is an ethanol fireplace, you don't have to have a glass railing around it. Okay, does it have a vent as well? I don't think so. Yeah, I wouldn't think you need it. I don't think one. you need it. Yeah, you probably just have like a metal pan or something up there to kind of deflect the heat, right? And that's it. Elegant design, open shelving here. I'm gonna keep pointing out these slabs. So nice. This marble, I believe, Calicata Viola. Contrast is so nicely against these light wood tones. And just, this is another moment right here in the lounging area. Now, let's take everybody this way. Same French oak hardwood floors are also here. This is a glass desk table. Uh, it's an interesting design choice, but I feel like, think about it. If someone buys this home, they can come down here with their friends, open up their laptops, work, get some work done, walk to the outside. I like, I love, it always comes to work for me. You know? I love your idea of friendship, you know? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit dark. It, it always consists of work. Uh, but this is an interesting design element. And even though this table is oversized, because it's all glass, it still feels very light. And of course, French doors, accordion glass doors, all open up to the covered patio, which then leads you to your backyard. And we're gonna cover that space in a bit. Now, let's take everybody this way. One more bedroom left. It starts here, king size bed. I gotta talk about this side table here. Looks like an architectural drawing. It's very unique. I don't know how they fabricated it. I'm sure it's not a cheap piece. And uh, if anybody knows the manufacturer, let us know in the comment section below. Well, based on how much all the uh, furniture costs in this house, there's not a lot of furniture. So <laughs> just go. that piece alone, let's divide that by like 50 or 60 and yeah. I'm gonna say probably $2,000. That would be my guess. What is your guess? <sighs> $2,100. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> But uh, we'll look it up. We'll, we'll learn how much it is. Built-in cabinetry, comes with a full bathroom, nice cozy bedroom. You have a side facing window here. And this is the last bedroom. Now, let's take everybody this way. We have this partially open, partially closed space. I say that because you have two sets of accordion glass doors opening up this room. You have mirror walls, TV, these sleek contemporary dumbbells. I think this is the second or third time we're seeing these dumbbells. It's like a mid-century dumbbell. It's so cool. And Bevel is the name of the house. They've even engraved it into the cabinetry there. There you go. This is a really cool space. I feel like this could be another office because it's so close to the backyard. This does feel more like an office to me, you know? Well, if you own a property like this, you want to enjoy the outdoors as much as possible. We are in Beverly Hills. Weather is great. You're in an incredible location, minutes away from the city center. And I feel like utilizing the outdoors is such an important aspect of a home like this. Yeah. And this space does a phenomenal job. You walk outside so easily, you can leave them closed, leave them open. And then this is where we have the backyard. First, I wanna talk about the pool. 45 foot long, zero edge throughout. We have this dark mosaic tile pretty much all around it. Then on the inside, you have Onyx Pebble Tech finish. Spa section is raised and we have two Baja shelves. They had to crane that tree right there and work the decking around it to create more of a tranquil environment and beautiful landscaping. There are a lot of old mature trees around us. So the backyard feels very lush, very green. You have the grass section right in the center. And I want to point out one more detail. Even though this pool looks like it was built on grade, there are actually eight 45 foot caissons below this pool. Really? Yep. To hold it in place. So we're on like a little bit of a hill then. The city of LA has been pushing up their building requirements tremendously. So even for this pool, the developer here had to put eight caissons wow. to stabilize the pool and make sure it goes nowhere. Well, this isn't about the caissons, but the pool looks really cool. I have to say with the trees around it, it's really peaceful and relaxing back here. It does. And I said the caissons because Developer here spent quarter million dollars below this pool that no one will ever see or probably know of. You know, a lot of times we tour these expensive homes, we do our best to showcase the design elements, features, but I feel like people can sometimes overlook how much money goes into developing these homes and the amount of stress, time consumption, 
and just the drama you go through to bring it, bring it home to a finish line. Just everything sight unseen, you know? Without a doubt. I also agree with you. I really like the pool. I like that it's above grade. I feel like it gives dimension to the backyard. You know, when they're flush, they're nice, but I don't know, I've been really liking above ground pools lately. And um, in the outdoor seating area, fire pit in the center, and Mikey, let's turn this way. So grass section right in the center we talked about. We saw that glass desk or table inside at the lounging area. Then they brought this glass ping pong table. I really like this. I mean, these are plexiglass. That's, uh, that's arguable. I might, I might stick with my, my regular, regular. <laughs> regular paddle, but the table is really cool, you know? This table is so heavy that they had to put specific footers underneath the legs just so it can stay here and not sunk in, yeah. Wow. Pretty insane, huh? Well, it could also be a really cool dining table also. That's true, just take the net. Yeah, exactly, glass net also. Glass net, there you go. All right, let's talk about the house for a second. Three massive volumes. We have steel case French doors and accordion doors opening up to the outside, allowing all these rooms to get fresh air and natural light. And I'm so excited to talk about this detail. We covered it in the primary bathroom. You see where we have this steel case assembly, how the stucco walls taper off to the outside and give dimension to this section. It's just so cool. And I covered it with the uh, outlet, not the outlet, it's almost, light switch. Yeah, it's almost like channeling the opening, you know? Exactly. Like bringing your focus towards the steel case doors and windows. Exactly. And it looks so nice. Again, simple stucco, nice contrast between the darker tones with all these steel case doors and windows and the white stucco, beautiful design, flows to the outside. And then we have the covered seating area here, space heaters. This is where we have the outdoor kitchen. Two swing chairs that are attached to the beam above us. I'm just gonna enjoy it. You gonna swing for a second? I do wanna swing for a second, Mikey. Well, that looks relaxing, like the rest it of the house. It is really, this property is very tranquil. Yeah. I feel like Mikey and I want to take a nap afterwards, just after the tour, just because it's so comfortable being here. You know, we go to a lot of houses all around the world, and <clears throat> there's very few houses that I could actually imagine living in. Um, either they're too big, they're too fancy, you know, too much maintenance. But this house, I feel like, is the perfect mix of, like, elegance and size, you know? Absolutely. And I feel like the way it's designed, it really sets itself apart from the other homes as well. Then you're in Beverly Hills, it's a great location. You got this beautiful outdoor space. So this assembly here was manufactured by the same company who did the cabinets uh, in the kitchen. Okay. It's all stainless steel. Fabrication looks beautiful. Then you have the integrated sink. You have your grill on this side. This is not the grill that was supposed to come with this assembly. You can actually see the gap here. They haven't received the grill yet. So they wanted to put one in place to showcase everyone how the final product is gonna look. And as if that wasn't enough, he brought the marble detail here. They didn't have to, but it looks very nice. Then you have the TV on this side, us touring a $139 million property in Bel Air, just another day at work, you know? Yeah. Bar seating, space heaters, pen and lights. It's just a nice cozy space, and I like that it's covered. So you can use it all day. The backyard is there, pool looks very tranquil. This house is just very soothing, and I feel like the hours we spent here, we really enjoyed it and uh, we felt very comfortable. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. Hope you'll enjoy this video. As always, you can find more information about this property in the description of this video, so make sure to check it out. Big thanks to the developer and the listing agents, Jason and Matthew, for making this video possible. And if you enjoyed the tour, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.